Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on Housewife 4 and no, we're not going to be playing as the glorious Soviet Union that has ended unfortunately but we're going to be starting a new series so as you know it, so if you don't know yet the new DLC has recently released and well, it's basically focused on the Commonwealth co um, countries and if you don't know what the Commonwealth is, the Commonwealth is the um, like the all the nations, all the colonial nations of, like for example, Australia, Canada, British Raj, um, New Zealand with Johnny Fucking Savage, and yeah, all that fucking shit. So new game, I've been testing it out a little bit, and I've decided to play as the British Raj. The crown jewel of the British Empire. The Raj of India is a strange combination of imperial power and imperial powerlessness. A tiny elite of British civil servants rule over a vast subcontinent filled with hundreds of millions of subjects. From their ranks recruits the Indian army, which fought bravely in the Great War. Indian leaders hoped that the sacrifices made in the last war would help India gain her independence from Britain, but so far that hope has been di disappointed. With the new war looming, many believe that the time has come to take the f that freedom by whatever means necessary. It's like that country. So, let's just immediately jump in. I'm gonna put historical AI focuses. Hmm. Should I put them on? Yeah, let's put them off. There you go. Uh, I've been testing a little bit. Let's let let this load. So, for you people who don't know what the British Raj is, the British Raj is basically India, except for Pakistan, of course. And yeah, so I'll get into whatever we have very real quick. So we have a total of two military factories. Not that much, but still we have a total of 14 civilian factories, so it's, at least it's better than Australia. Let's start building some of those. Um, okay, I'll go over that later. Research. Let's get that, and also let's get... Hmm... Basic machine tools, there we go. Now, we are kind of in a pickle we are the British Raj and we have some uh, neg mostly negative modifiers we have princely states daily autonomy progress gain minus 0 0.1 I'll explain what that means later when I get into more of the DLC marginalized Muslim community so Pakistan stuff national unity minus 10% and recruitable population factor minus 20 the agrarian society, so we have less recruitable population, and of course the risk of famine. Now we have a total of two, three hundred, uh, three hundred twenty-seven million men, like under our rule. So if we go to national focuses, so foci, I should say, but the game decided to make it focuses. Um, you have of course the Great Indian and the Peninsula Railways, which gets us into more. Um, like factories and stuff hmm okay so we have a few paths here we have the military path we have the uh, more industrial path to get so, some more industrial expansion, some resources, and of course the good old thingies. Hmm. So let's go with the Indian Peninsula Railway. There you go. So. We also have some. We have one naval docker, so I'll put that to work on a convoy, and let's start training them in the individual. No, let's not do that. We first of all need to dig us ourselves out of this hole, because we will see. that hold on. 1.2k. Yeah. Let's get our. Let's unpause. Let's get our army into one big 
thingy. And that's all of our army, apparently. 11 divisions for our massive country. Um, let's put them on the border with the... I should warn you that I'm going to be using exploits. Um, yeah. So, what the DLC did, it, it uh, first of all, it gave us some nice focus trees for the Commonwealth countries. So, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, Canada. And that's it. Nothing else has changed on that. We can also now request lands lease. And this is why I'm kind of pissed as Paradox right now. Look at this. Okay, so one of the features is requesting land lease. And for you guys who don't know what requesting land lease is, it's basically asking for people to give you guns. But why the fuck do you have to pay for that? It's like, okay, so we need to get, get 10, 10 pounds or dollars or euros out of this. Um, let's give them features that should have been in the game from the start, like requesting guns from other countries. Uh, sorry for that rant right there, but um, I'm kind of pissed. We have two years of shit behind us. Okay, so. Now, autonomy. Currently, we are a... Currently, we are a colony. Which is closer to getting, like, integrated puppets. So, um... The, so, the... Um, the autonomy, I believe it's called, can go up or down. If it goes down... As in favor of the British, which they would be able to, for example, make us into an in integrated puppet like British Malaya. Currently, we are a colony, so we still have some autonomy, but it's not great. I would love to become a dominion like the other countries, but that's not what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to go this here, over here, to seek help from Germany, get this, um, Basically become an independent nation. Okay. Let's go up to speed. While we wait. So we have that modifier of British princes which makes us which makes our thing go down. That marginalized Muslim community is not doing well in our favor, but whatever, I don't give a fuck. Why did I do this first? I'll probably get into provincial elections soon. Let's try. There we go. So the new German. Oh wow! Oh, we can't do that. Oh, fuck. Um, industrial expansion of more railways. Let's go here. Also, I should notify you that we have a fuck of oil and tungsten and chromium and steel and all that fun stuff. That's nice. Now, of course, we are colonies, so a lot of it goes to us. Oh fuck! Ah, Spanish over Angel. Fuck. Um, so the lot of our um, shit goes over to the United Kingdom if they want to uh, trade with us, of course. Now, if you become integrated puppets, even more shit goes to them. So basically, if they want to get steel from us, they'll get like 80 steel for one factory instead of 8 steel. And that's, that's like pretty fucking huge, but whatever. So Ethiopia is still hanging on, I guess. Electronic mechanical engineering. Good construction. Ba -ba okay. British Raj. First of all, I wanted the industrial expansion so I can get down here. Could get some more oil and all that. 
steel. Mwah, the steel. I always love steel. <clears throat> also, this is like a little bit of a joke here. The smiling Buddha. It's because one time 75 research buttons for nuclear technology. Scientists are close to unlocking the secret of atomic energy and this will lead to the creation of a very powerful explosives. You cannot fall behind the quest for atomic weapons. And basically that's, this is like a jab at Civilization 6 and 5 because in Civilization 6 and 5 India, um, like Gandhi has always has nukes. Like no matter what playthrough you have, he always, has, he always tries to get nukes. Uh, I mean, I was playing Civilization 6 and I knew the nuke Germany. I was like, dude, those are some very interesting weaponry you have there. You mind um, sharing them with me? They were really, uh, I mean, like, everyone's like, oh my god, you nuke somebody. You should go to hell. Fuck off. And he's like, interesting. You mind collaborating? <laughs> like, that was so fucking. Ah, uh, the memes. And uh, you, I said I was going to use um, exports in this, basically, to, for the British Raj to become independent, you can go down to routes. Hold on, let's do this. So you can either go the normal way, stay democratic and start try to get your autonomy up to uh, get to Dominion and after that get the freedom shit, shit up and going. But we're not going to do that we're going as i said we're going to go fascist soon we'll have um enough power 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 points to uh what is this called political power to get um uh, an advisor so we're going to go down here and this is um, a little bit of a um unique focus to say the least it basically gives you the possibility of Plunging yourself into civil war, and yes, I just recruit daily fascism. Fuck yeah! So we'll be getting some uh, good events. Now, as I said, we're going to be using exploits, and now I'm going to explain what exploit I'm going to be using. So I've just told you that we're going to plunge our country into civil war and we're going to be on the nationalist side of things. This is going to mean that the our army here, this army, will be in the enemy's hands and we will get our own army. But there's a little bit of a bug right now, so um, I've seen somebody use it. I believe how it works is you send your units into foreign soil like United Kingdom and they just disappear. Or they just stay there and you can get uh, into Delhi or whatever. Really easily. And it's like... Kind of cheeky, but whatever. Like I'll probably send them in the Sinai Desert or something. We're work currently working on reinforcements, so I won't train any new units. And of course, training new units is kind of redundant because I'm going to fight them anyways. Okay, so the border war is happening over here. Border conflicts are basically... The people who has the most units in this, uh, in these regions, get uh, a fucking like a, a boost to something morale, whatever. That's something uh, particularly to China and shit. Nothing to worry about. Boom, 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 boom. Assam oil. These are present in the Soviet Union. Oh, fuck off. So let's take a look at our resources real quick. We have some rubber in the south. We have some nice tungsten all over the place. So that's going to be nice. Steel is the most important one for us to say the least. Tungsten is then is my second most important. And oil is definitely like like vying for, se for second, definitely. It's hard to say. I mean... Oil is good if you want to get a mobile uh, mobile army, but if you want to get superior firepower, Tungsten is good to get them good old uh, massive artillery pieces. Mandalay. Accidentally passed that there. Oh, fuck. 
So let us just wait. Then we got the Indian Institute of Science. I love this music. Like the game has got some new music because of the DLC. I said a public support patient a coup can be executed. So 13 percent. Small. That's almost more than the democratic. Of course, we're not aligned, so I mean it's not that big of a deal. Never really understood why the British Raj is unaligned. They are a puppet of the uh, democratic powerhouse that is the United Kingdom. <coughs> uh, they're not a powerhouse. Like they're they're shit at what they do. But let's hope Japan, because we're going to be going fascist. Uh, so let's hope that Japan can actually do it, sh get shit together, and get into China proper. We're ring. I mean, I might join them and invade from the east. Get some shit out of that, but maybe not. Ah, oh, fuck no. If they lose the China war, uh, I mean, if they're losing, like completely lost their mainland, I won't. I won't join them because, well, it would be a suicide because China usually gets all oh, fucked in reservations. Maybe I'll join them on later on and get the entirety of China under my control. Now, how's that logistics doing? Still trying to get that shit up and going. Modify the government. Can't do this because we need to be fully independent. <laughs> um, can't do that because we need more wall tension. Let's get theorists. Let's get a military theorist. In an institute of science. Uh, isn't enough shit yet. But. As soon as the nationalists uh, win in Spain, we should see some that world tension plop up high, like no tomorrow. And Japan should be declaring war on China soon, so we will be able to get some of them provincial election up again, then going to Swaraj. Okay. Let's wait, because I have nothing else to do. Who is this? So you see a little button? Who played this? You can actually now see what uh, music we'll be playing, nice. Hit mechanical computing. Ah, here we go. <laughs> I would think fucking hell. Um, let's get the hill fire and try this. <laughs> For nothing, he was forced to be a loner. Yet he was the tiniest man on earth. And when the law came one day and wanted them to pay, he looked them in the eyes and said, I wish that I can give you what you want, but something out of nothing is still nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. That, like, that song goes really hard. That's some really high pitched fucking shit. I can't reach that. I'm sorry. And then the British come to sigh. And I don't need my bone, but I'm up Groups over to garrison the Sinai Desert. And you, you don't need to guard the coast, and you don't need water. <laughs> I 
I'm just sending them over to the fucking Sinai Desert. Just chill over there, you know? Nothing he was supposed to be your loner. Yet he was the finest man on earth. And when the law came one day and wanted him to pay, he looked him in the eyes and said, I wish that I can give you what you want. But something out of nothing is still nothing. All I can offer you is my bling. And the trumpets of the rain. No, you believe me. And since the day he was lonely, the man on the bridge has come to sigh. He died as lonely as he was in a couple of me. Living in the family. What you can learn from a story like this is when you offer nothing, you'll get plenty. What you can learn from a story like this, you're never better off alone. In the deep of my body, moving glory. Hold on, apparently we're not. I mean, sent, sent me to the uh, Western Desert, <laughs> the fucking Sahara. Apparently they're. Um, Sinai isn't big enough to, uh, to put our entire army in, so let's send them into the Sahara. <sighs> are we actually taking attrition? No, we aren't. Great. So our men are going to be in fucking England. I mean, English Turkey, I should say. Bum, bum, bum. This is the best way that we can get shit, but that would mean losing a fuck ton of autonomy. Um, hello, is Sada Godson nearly fallen? Seriously? Let's get that one, like one military factory. I need that shit right now. Construction going great. Oh my god. God, how many units do you have? Uh, 1931, you have about the same. Of course, um, the armies are kind of spread out. I mean, Valencia will soon fall, honestly. Oh, Barcelona? Maybe. Will Barcelona fall? Come on. Now hold on, I want to know what else of a need do we have. So run your jihan, building the nation. Oh nice. Get some oh German tech mm, German technology. Mmm. Oh German technology. <laughs> Fucking hell. Want that German technology, am I right? Um hold on, do we have a silent workhorse? Yeah, there we go. Get some more of that political power, BPS, people, some people call it. Now my first step of as an independent India would be to attack Iran. <laughs> that will honestly be it. Now how is that death set of infantry equipment doing? So how is our autonomy doing? Hmm. We are we already lost forty six. Fucking hell. Lucky enough, the uh, British don't won't like try to suppress us because they have this. Oh yeah, one of the also one of the new features is this continuous focuses. I don't know actually whether this is. Oh, there there goes that. Don't actually know where this is in um, like a paid feature. I mean, if that also is paid, I don't know what they give for free. So how's Ethiopia doing? Oh yeah, wasn't paying attention, but Ethiopia has fallen. Now national Spain has fallen, so... Oh, can I get them uh, new elections? Provincial elections, there we go. There we go. Provincial elections. The new Government of India Act mandates elections in the provinces, establishing some measure of local government responsible to the Indian population. We will see what this effect has on the British rule. You get some more shit. More provincial elections. 
This will modify the currency state to minus 0 0.3. Of course, I, I mean, we're going to plunge our country into civil war, so what the fuck. So our town army is sitting in the Sinai Desert. You're not sitting right, you need to sit at the tip of the mountains. <laughs> Fucking hell. Go sit in the mountains, you piece of shit. There you go, that should do the trick. There you go, sit in the mountains, that's where you belong. Ah. <sighs> Now, Ceylon isn't all ours. I mean, do you have a uh, thing for that? To demand Ceylon? In real life, it isn't part of um, India, I believe. Even though it's Hindu and shit. Maybe it has some uh, dis uh, different culture, and that's why I didn't want to join the glorious Indian Empire. I mean, Republic, Republic, what, what am I saying? Real life, uh, British, I mean, India isn't a um, empire. It's just a republic or a democ democratic thingy, but I didn't do do the fa 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 fa. I didn't do much research, uh, so I don't actually know how India does in real life. So, um, fun fact: we can actually reach Pakistan. <laughs> I guess that's a fun thing to do. I want to reach Pakistan. Don't you worry. Pakistan belongs to our glorious nation. Let's get radio. If you're wondering why I'm getting these um, research bonuses, it basically um, I'm part of the Commonwealth research. Normally you get 10%, be but because I'm a colony, I only get half of that. Hmm. Slowly turning. Oh. So war for fa fascism? For f oh wow! While the attempts of a fascist movement to revitalize the people's pride in their nation have has seen have seen some success, the resistance against these ideas remains high. The gener generals plotting to overthrow the current administration are disappointed in the lack of confidence in the British Indian population themselves seem, seem to have in British Indian support, superiority. They remain certain that the people will eventually tire of Lord Lim Lindeth Gow's lies, but are divided on what course of action to take. Some call for a coup to be executed now before British rush and enemies takes, uh, takes advantage of its weakness. However, doing so well while public support is limited would plunge the nation into civil war. Greatness can uh, scarcely be achieved without spilling blood, but the blood of our countrymen, even traitors to the cause, is precious. So, no line support to start a civil war. Nah! We only have one minute left. I mean, uh, we have focuses for that. I don't need that. Uh, let's get excavation. Oh no, wait. If anything, um, let's first of all take a look before we do that. Let's get, uh, use those research bonuses because I'll need them. Okay. Amelia Earhart disappears. Oh my god, I'm so concerned. The British Raj. Really huge country, but oh, fucking hell. I'm wondering. We have this modifier called Agrarian Society. So basically, a lot of our people are farmers and don't want to fight in an army. Do we have a possibility of getting rid of that shit? So, uh, so we, now we have two options, ladies and gentlemen. Swaraj, so Gandhi's concept of self rule. Swaraj is gaining popularity, popularity throughout India. It advocates a total break from British institutions and customs and Swaraj groups are agitating at Indian schools. Or we can go in the National Congress. The Indian National Congress has been very successful in actions across the subcontinent. They are a strong voice for an independent India, or at least one with, great, with greater autonomy within the empire. 
Fuck yeah, Gandhi. We are we're going to fucking follow Gandhi's rule. So, if you enjoyed, just drop me a like, leave us comments right down below. And if you're interested in more shit like this, just subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you in the next one. B bye, have a beautiful time.